Hello YouTube, this is Bowtie Media. Today we've got another installment of This Week in EDM, which is very late if you're watching this the day it is actually released. This is uh, quite late in the week. Uh, this is on the like Wednesday, Thursday of the stuff from before, but that's besides the point. The reason I'm still putting this video and not just forgetting about it is because it's an interesting week. An interesting week because there are no bad songs. No bad songs. Which is kind of like, because there is one trash one. So let's get into that. Uh, we've got Weekend on a Thursday by Rehab and Laidback Luke. It's your kind of classic slap house track with a deep male voice, very popularized, uh, popularized sound by the Good Boys um, and Medusa. It is just so in uninteresting. Please stop making this music. Rehab, Laidback Luke, please stop. Uh, and then next, next up is the meh category songs. So it's a pretty good week. Uh, we've got Out of My Mind by Jay Hardway. Uh, it's a uh, okay future house, nothing to really write home about. But uh, if you love the genre, you will, uh, you'll really like this one, a future house. So that's that. As we move into Eternity by Nurko featuring Dice Dace Williams. Uh, pretty basic Nurko here. The mixing brings the track down a little bit, I would say. There's a little, just a lot going on. It's it's very just jumbled in the mixing and mastering, and so it just sounds a little all over the place. Um, but at least it's not as derivative as some of the stuff I've heard of Nurko in the past. So that's why it's just here. Next up, we've got Save Me by Dr. Oshu. I'm not sure how to say that exactly. Uh, the debut Monster Cat release uh, here from this guy, uh, who's got a very rhythm background, so I wasn't uh, <laughs> a little too ugh, not with that uh, with the song because I'm not a huge rhythm guy. But uh, I I kind of I kind of liked it. Uh, it's not really my flavor, but uh, the synth is jagged while still being in a kind of melodic way. Uh, it's a it's kind of a fantastic blend between a more melodic sound and still being a kind of rhythm background, and uh, it kind of worked, but just uh, maybe it's not for me, but. So we move on to Lose Our Minds by Kirby and Jess Ball. Uh, not too impressed with this new Kirby. Uh, pretty boring, all things considered, and quite repetitive for it being uh, like two minutes and 40 second track. Uh, not really able to capture the kind of fun house style that uh, Kirby was able to on Vertigo. And I think Vertigo was his uh, kind of magnum opus at, at that point and been trying to capture that same love ever since and hasn't quite been able to, but... Next, we got TFJ by Kai Whitston. Uh, fantastic track uh, with multiple very defined movements. It's very all over the place, a little weird. I would say it's like an experimental style, but uh, it's a little all over the place for my liking in that sense. Uh, but uh, I think if you're in, this is more like of a critic song where uh, if you really love the experimental weird kind of sounds and different odd movements and ideas, I think you really like this one. As we move into a Alive by Subtact. Um, it feels like this is a Subtact track, but just kind of held back and reserved a little bit. Uh, the big hits didn't punch as hard, and the track has a lot going on um, and makes it a tad overwhelming in some sections. Uh, it's kind of like a, just a messy, kind of more reserved version of Tunnel Vision, I would say, one of his most popular tracks. As we move into Nobody, the Ellis remix, but originally by uh, Quentin uh, and Kev, or K-E-V. Uh, it's a good remix, uh, but the track is, it's just too short, I think. Um, the drops aren't super fleshed out and is a little bit tamer than I think it really should have been. Um, kind of a, yeah, just an okay track here. As we've got Bad Luck by Pegboy Nerds and Kiz Keys. A very unique track for Pegboy Nerds. Very different new style that they've even said. This is them branching out a little bit. Uh, but in the end... Vocals were okay, and I just didn't really feel a lot from this track. I don't know why. I felt like it it had this energy and punch to it, and I just was like, eh, I didn't, wasn't really feeling it. But um, yeah, it's just, just here in May. Uh, next up, we've got Make You Say by Zed, Marin Morris, and Buse. Uh, this is very much teetering the line between meh and good for me, and honestly, I still don't really know how I feel about the track. Um, we'll see when I hear it a lot more on the radio uh, upcoming, but uh, yeah, it's kind of a funk track mixed in with a commercial appeal that Zed is kind of somewhat known for, uh, it's, but very emphasized, uh, very, very heavily emphasized uh, vocals from uh, Marin Morris here. Uh, it's a kind of mindless track in the end, and it's kind of a fun EDM summer track, I would say, but uh, I guess coming to the end of the summer, sort of, but... Yeah. So we move into the good category. We've got Chains by Above and Beyond featuring Marty Longstaff. Um, Above and Beyond proving that uh, Progressive House doesn't need to be so boring in 2022. It's got great vocals and solid production, and it's just a, a solid house track that gets my approval. So we move into Mind Racer by Mr. Fiji Ouija. Classic Fiji trip hop here with a fun kind of switch in the back half of the style. Um, always been a sucker for Fiji's uh, production and everything he does, um, especially the vocal chops. Uh, just 
I always really love, but uh, I, I may be very biased on this one. Uh, I, I do love Fiji, but I thought this was, this was, this, yeah, this was good for Fiji. So as we've got Holiday by Drulu featuring Ponette, I want to say a uh, free flowing track with a very carefree atmosphere, uh, truly a perfect holiday travel track. Um, love the subtleness of Panette's vocals here really added a lot for me, even though it wasn't so much and so intense in the mix. Um, I think the feature was fantastic and it, it uh, did what it really needed to do. So, so we move into Falling Apart, the Cranked At remix, originally by Arm & Hammer featuring Run. Uh, fun to hear more of a Chill Out Instinct style track from Cranked At here, not as kind of the heavy hitting dubstep and <laughs> some of the bass house we've been getting as of recent. Um, but uh, yeah, it still very much sounds like him and so I, I appreciate that. Um, but yeah, a little more of a reserved way uh, and not too intense while we'll still feeling Cranked At and uh, I liked it. A good change of pace. Up next, we've got Breathless by Ramesses B. Uh, Ramesses B has been pumping out tune after tune lately. Uh, this is a great trip hop sound with a futuristic tone. And I think it's just honestly a better version of Fiji's track from this week. And uh, I think outshined Fiji and uh, Fiji's genre. So uh, this was a solid track for sure. As we've got Alone by Starseed uh, and Aaron Shirk and Cyber featuring Meggie York. Um, the Advent Volume 5 compilation is out from Ophelia. It's a great track with a ton of dynamicism, uh, a, a real genre fusion track for sure, and has a very distinct EDM feel to it while just kind of being all over the place and all the different kind of subgenres of EDM. Uh, vocals have, could be a, a little bit stronger. I think I haven't loved uh, Meggie York's vocals in the past, and I... I think it's another one that I'm, maybe it's just, maybe it's still love for vocals, but that's just me. And uh, we've actually got two standout tracks this week. I'm surprised myself with how much I ended up enjoying these ones. Uh, we've got Resonate by Kumerion. Uh, I'm a sucker for Kumerion, and uh, this is, this is straight fire. Uh, I guess it's technically a dubstep track technically. Um, but, uh, holy, this is, this is dark and brooding and, uh, it's, it's a level of intensity while being low that I haven't really heard in a long time. And, uh, I, I really liked this one. So, uh, and our top track of the week, uh, this one really surprised me how much I ended up liking it. And uh, we've got on air, uh, by what's so not featuring Lewis, the child, captain cuts and J R M. Uh, it's a very flume inspired track. It sounds like, uh, it's just, just fantastic. Um, it, it's just kind of glitchy and a little all over the place, but still, um, it still has semblance of structure and, uh, oh man, I just, it's, it's, it was just all over the place and jagged and then clean and then melodic and then chaotic. And I, I don't know. I, I just was sucker for this. I am super excited for the new LP coming out from what's not. And, um, yeah, that's it. Uh, but, uh, again, all these songs are in a Spotify playlist link down below. If you want to catch them all, make sure you sort by recently added so you can see the newer songs at the top. And, um, that's been it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section below of these tracks. I've been Botai Media and I'll see you guys in another video.